Welcome to CoreLogic's Housing Market Update for April 2024. Last month's 0.6% lift in national home values marked the 14th consecutive month-on-month -month rise, taking the index 1.6% or about $12,000 higher in the March quarter. Since declining 7.5% in the downturn between April 2022 and January 2023, the National Home Value Index has increased by 10.2%, adding approximately $72,000 to the median value of a home and pushing to new record highs each month since November last year. The national quarterly pace of growth accelerated from 1.4% in Q4 last year to 1.6% in Q1 this year. Though housing values are rising faster than at the end of last year, the quarterly trend has halved relative to the middle of last year when home values are rising at 3.3% quarter on quarter. Rate hikes, cost of living pressures and worsening housing affordability are all factors that have contributed to softer conditions since mid last year. However, an undersupply of housing relative to demand continues to keep upwards pressure on home values despite these headwinds. The monthly movements in housing values across our capital cities continue to be punctuated by diversity. At one end of the spectrum, we have Perth, where housing values are up 1.9% over the month, followed by Adelaide and Brisbane with 1.4% and 1.1% monthly growth. The remaining capitals are showing much lower rates of change, although Melbourne is the only capital city to record a negative quarterly movement, down 0.2% over the first three months of the year. After being led by the upper quartile most of last year, the strongest growth conditions have migrated to the lower quartile across most capital city markets. Across the combined capitals, lower quartile home values increased by 3.1% in the first quarter of the year, compared with a 0.7% rise across the upper quartile of the market. This trend of stronger conditions across the lower value sector was evident in each of the major capitals. With housing affordability becoming more challenging and borrowing capacity lower than a year ago, it's no surprise to see demand now being skewed towards the middle to lower end of the value spectrum. Regional housing markets are also recording a rise in values, with similar levels of diversity as their capital city counterparts. Regional Victoria stands out with the softest growth conditions, with values down 0.3% in the first quarter of the year, the only broad rest of state region to record a decline in values through the year to date. Demand for housing has been holding up well despite the higher cost of debt and low sentiment. Home sales through the first quarter of the year were estimated to be 9.5% higher relative to Q1 last year, although the comparison with a year ago is from a relatively low base, with the housing market bottoming out from the downturn at the beginning of last year. Compared to the previous decade average for this time of the year, dwelling sales are estimated to be 3.7% higher. Overall, it looks as though housing markets are continuing to traverse the high interest rates and high cost of living environment better than most would have expected. Values and rents are recording broad-based rises, albeit with significant diversity across the capitals and across the regional markets. The outlook for housing values remains positive amid a growing expectation that interest rates will start to fall later this year, providing a boost to borrowing capacity and consumer sentiment. The fundamentals of housing supply and demand remain out of balance in most regions, placing upwards pressure on the cost of housing. The supply side of the housing equation continues to be insufficient. As we approach the July 1st starting point for the federal government's 1.2 million new well-located homes target, dwelling approvals are yet to show any meaningful uplift. 12,850 homes were approved for construction in January, roughly 25% below the decade average and well below the 20,000 average monthly run rate of approvals required to see the 1.2 million homes in five years. At the same time, the residential construction sector continues to run up against shortages in labour, high material costs and depressed profit margins. On the demand side, the rate of growth in Australia's population reached 2.5% over the year ending September 2023. That's the fastest pace of annual growth since the commencement of the ABS National Population Series in 1981. In raw numbers, this equates to approximately 660,000 new residents requiring housing in some shape or form. Over the same period, about 174,000 new dwellings were completed, equating to approximately 3.8 people per home well above the ABS estimate of average household size at two and a half people per home. With overseas migration having peaked in the first quarter of last year, we should see the rate of population growth easing. However, without a catch up in supply, Australian housing markets are likely to be navigating an undersupply for a few years yet. 
While we expect housing values to continue trending higher, with the potential for conditions to even accelerate as interest rates come down, some headwinds are present. Housing affordability is deteriorating as home values, rental rates and the cost of servicing a mortgage rise faster than household incomes. With fewer buyers able to purchase a home at the median value, we could see demand deflecting towards lower price points, potentially favouring outer fringe detached housing markets and the multi-unit sector where price points tend to be lower. Also, economic conditions are easing and labour markets are gradually loosening. The Reserve Bank is expecting economic conditions to ease further through the middle of the year and the unemployment rate to gradually rise from its currently low base, implying lower wages growth. Although inflation has been lower than forecasted, cost of living pressures remain a key challenge for many households, resulting in lower savings rates, ongoing low sentiment and heightened uncertainty when it comes to making high commitment financial decisions such as purchasing a residential property. As we navigate the second quarter of the year, there will be plenty to keep an eye on from a property market perspective. You can keep up to date with all the property news and trends at the research pages at the CoreLogic website or via CoreLogic Australia's LinkedIn page.